Thank you. So, so I have a rhetorical question. Doesn't it feel great when the walls of discrimination come down? Doesn't it feel wonderful as Americans to be part of that? And we're so touched to be here. Um, 17 years ago, I was a freshman in the Senate. And this policy of don't ask, don't tell was embedded, if I could use a word, in the military spending bill. And I offered an amendment to take it out 17 years ago. And I got 33 votes, 33 votes against don't ask, don't tell 17 years ago. And here's the amazing irony, and the wonderful irony, is that on our procedural vote, Kirsten and Patrick and and, and Mark in the, in the Senate, this time, only 33 people said, let's keep it in, and the rest said, get rid of it. So it was amazing how it came, 17 years. And as Nancy loves to hear these words when we senators speak, in closing, <laughs> I, I, want, I want to say, this day belongs to a lot of people. It really belongs to all of America. Because in our nation, as Standing Hoyer so eloquently put it, we just open the doors wider and wider. That's the way it is. It's tough. Some of them get slammed, and you've got to push them open. But this day belongs to the American people. But I have to say, in my heart, I think about the 14,000 brave men and women who got kicked out of the military for this horrible policy, several of whom are on the stage. And I just want to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're going to do everything to make it all right. Thank you so much.